Good morning, everybody. So the girls have been here for about two weeks now. Coming up this weekend will be two weeks. And um, I've just been working with desensitizing them, uh, brushing them, just rubbing on them. Um, rubbing on them and uh, just trying to get the harness, the uh, halters on them and get them used to touch and feel. They still don't like um, horse flies, but they're getting better. But uh, I just wanted to show you what we've uh, gotten accomplished so far in just the two weeks that they've gotten uh, acclimatized to being here in this environment. Joy wants some loving, so she's sticking her head through the fence. She's still showing a little aggression towards them. Chief still doesn't really care, but uh, Joy will take a nip at them if she can. So just keep them apart for a little while longer. Not too much is really bothering them. They like being groomed. And if you watch their ears, when I get behind them, their ears will follow me back here to the back. And if I brush one and the other one, we'll come over and try to butt her way in. I try to walk around their butts so they get used to me being behind them so they're not bothered by me being back there so they don't want to kick out see grace over here she wanting to know what I'm doing down here to her sister but I rub on their bellies on their nipples on their belly button on their chest just all over on their underside so they get used to it I can lay on their backs, put my arm around their neck. They like the smell. Lay across her. They're just big, just big old puppy dogs. See how Grace has got her ears turned around backwards listening to me? Yesterday they got so comfortable they laid down. And I laid down with them. Right, this may not work because they're not tied up, but I've also been picking up their front feet. They got to learn how to pick up their feet. Not too bad. All right, so we're just working with the halters right now. These are not the halters that you want to, to teach pressure and release because you want a rope halter that has knots on it. I'm just using these so they get used to having something on their head. And that's backwards. 
I just want them to get used to a halter going on and off. Like I said, you see they're ill-fitting, they're too big, but they don't fit on their pole correctly, but they, uh, they get used to having something on their head. Back, back. Now I'm gonna attach the lead ropes. But I'm not gonna lead them, I'm just gonna throw the lead rope over their shoulder. Again, I just want them to get used to it. Now what I want is I'm gonna start walking down to a crossbar down here. I'm gonna hitch them up to this crossbar and uh, I want them to follow me. Look at her. I want them to follow me. I don't wanna lead them, I don't wanna pull them. I want them to follow me because they're hooked up with me. And when I stop, I want them to stop. But the leading uh, by a lead rope will just come naturally if they already follow you. So let's go down here. Mm -hmm. their morning time. I've messed up their routine because I didn't feed them. So they're letting me know that they don't want to cooperate this morning because I messed up their routine. But that's all right. They don't know that their buckets are there, so they, they like to share. Okay, so this teaches them to stay tied up for extended periods of time. Leave them out here for a couple hours at a time. And uh, also get them used to fly spray and uh, picking up their feet and whatnot. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit of fly spray. They, uh, they don't mind it too much, but I want them to not mind it at all. Uh, Joy and Chief, they don't like it whatsoever. And um, I want these guys to not mind it at all. Uh, we've all been around horses that don't like fly spray. And uh, it doesn't, it's not a pretty sight. You're okay. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Now, this is Jean, and she's uh, pretty sensitive on everything. Grace, she doesn't really care too much. Bothers her a little bit, but I just want to get enough on them to where the horse flies smell it. cross ties it would be a lot easier but we're not in a cross tie right now all right now these girls are only five and a half months old so all of this stuff's new to them and uh, for them to take the halters uh, as easily as they did even though they're ill-fitting they did fine um, rope going across their neck they did fine uh, fly spray 
we, we got some work to do on that. Again, they're not tied correctly. And uh, so they've got some freedom to, to get away from me. Um, I typically don't have them tied up when I do that. But this is a lead rope right here. And I mean, again, they're five and a half months old. And you know, they're eating a little distracted uh, by eating, but this lead rope doesn't bother them one bit. Going around their legs, she thinks it's a fly. Underneath her, across her butt. I mean, for being five and a half months old and already being, you know, this well behaved, I think it's pretty good. Um, this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be working on. Uh, just getting them used to everything. Touching and feeling and talking and uh, spray. I'll get them over there in the round pen and we'll get some more advanced stuff going. But right now, it's just desensitizing. You know, you get a, a baby that you took away from their mom two weeks ago and for them to be acclimated to a new area, new smells, new taste in grass, new water, uh, new pasture mates that still are kind of aggressive and uh, and them not really caring about any of this uh, I think is just really good. Compared to where they were on day one to where they are right now, huge improvement. I'm extremely happy. Uh, they're doing well and uh, they appear to be gaining weight pretty quickly. Uh, we'll do a follow-up video on this and uh, you'll, in about a month or so when you'll be able to see the progress and we're just gonna continue progressing these girls. So uh, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.